In a group of just 23 people, there's a 50% chance that two of them share the same birthday. And that sounds a little bit crazy, right? It feels counterintuitive, and that's why it's called a paradox. You might be thinking, if I walk into a room of 22 other people, how can there possibly be a 50% chance that someone shares my birthday? But that's not exactly what we're talking about here. We're asking if any two people in the room share a birthday, not just you and someone else. It's a many-to-many -many comparison, not a one-to-many. So let's break this down into simple math. Instead of calculating the chance of someone sharing a birthday, it's easier to figure out the opposite, the chance that no one shares a birthday. Imagine you walk into a room. You already have a birthday. So there are 364 other days left for the next person to not match your birthday. That gives the second person a 364 out of 365 chance of not sharing your birthday. Then the third person walks in. They have a 363 out of 365 chance of not sharing a birthday with either you or the second person. This pattern continues as more people enter the room. The 23rd person will have a 343 out of 365 chance of not sharing a birthday with any of the previous 22 people. To figure out the total chance of no shared birthdays, we multiply all these probabilities together. And the math looks a little bit like this. When you multiply this out, you get around 0.493 or 49.3% chance. So the chance of not having a birthday is about 49.3%. Now to get the chance of at least one shared birthday, we subtract this from 100%. One take away 0.493 equals 0.5071. This is equivalent to a 50.7% chance. That's just over 50%. Why does this feel so strange to our brains? Well, our brains aren't great at intuitively understanding probabilities, especially when they involve so many possibilities at once. Think about it like this. If you double a grain of rice for every square on a chessboard, by the time you reach the last square, you would have around 1.4 trillion metric tons of rice, thousands of times the world's annual rice production. We simply aren't wired to grasp these kinds of numbers or this kind of exponential growth and probability. Here are some more fun facts to wow your friends with. In a group of just 70 people, the probability of a shared birthday jumps to 99.9%. .9%. If you're looking for someone who shares your exact birthday, you'd need a group of 253 people to have a 50% chance of finding a match. While the math assumes birthdays are evenly spread out throughout the year, which isn't quite true since more babies are usually born in September, it doesn't actually significantly affect the outcome. So here are some key takeaways. The birthday paradox shows that in a group of 23 people, there's a 50.7% chance that two will share a birthday. This feels surprising because we aren't great at estimating large numbers or probabilities. The math works by calculating the chance of no matches and then subtracting this from 100%. And you might be thinking, why do I care about the birthday paradox? Well, this principle has many applications in cryptography, genetics, and many other fields. This paradox is also a great reminder that coincidences are a lot more common than we think. If this makes math clearer and more accessible for you, feel free to comment or subscribe.